Hello and welcome. Fresh from Geneva, I'll show you the highlights of the Geneva Watch Days 2021. Look at that. It's the fountain. But we're here to talk about watches and we start with number one, Oris. This colorful creation tells a green story. The dial was made from recycled plastic to celebrate the fact that Oris now is a certified carbon neutral company. And after I got used to it, I honestly believe it is a fantastic even RT watch. Every dial is unique and the price is rather fresh as well. Second, a watch that really should be observed in real. This Fumé dial, very subtle calendar indications and amazingly smooth bracelet are just fantastic. The Streamliner by Moser now also comes with a perpetual calendar that rightfully got a lot of spotlights during the show. Although I must say I love this green dial from last year also very very much. Number 3 on the list, fresh from Rome, is Bulgari. Bulgari has been making serious waves with the Octa Finissimo, but this Roma world timer proves that there are more watches that need to be taken very seriously. It also has a blacked out brother and in that iteration it looks even more contemporary. And then there is a stellar creation that's not a watch, it's actually a clock. It is a MNF. Max Busser and friends are well known for making incredible machines and not only for the wrist. This clock named Orb definitely shows that excellence unlike anything else. It was made in collaboration with Lippi and it ticks like a time bomb. Next up is the watchmaking love baby of Mr. Schäufler from Chopin. Ferdinand Bertou has two spiritual fathers. First a master watchmaker who made incredible marine chronometers in the 18th century. The other is Chopin co-president Mr. Schäufele. They're most famous for this fantastic octagon shape, but this chronometer FB2RE really took my breath away. Combining the latest technologies like the fusée chain, naked classic watchmaking and stunning finishing, this FB shows its credentials in every glorious detail. Number 6 in the list, a company that's actually from right around the corner. It is Frédéric Constant. Local heroes Frédéric Constant show the new high life skeleton and although I'm not a big fan of skeleton dials, this one hits the right notes with the globe pattern smartly integrated in design. Modern yet elegant and priced at 2300 euros, as a high life wearer I was a little bit jealous. Now I want this one as well. Coming in at number 7, it is the wonderful, wonderful company Zapek. Also playing a home game is a rising star Zapek which shows its great watchmaking pedigree with the automatic caliber SXH6 on full display. It came to conquer the show with this Antarctique Rattrapante, a watch that shows that life is worth living for. Although you will have to find other hobbies as well because this one is already sold out. And on 8 we have the very sympathetic and very well priced watches of Doxa. Family owned and recently restructured, Doxa focuses on what it does best, dive watches. This was their star of the show and it is produced in collaboration with Time and Tide. And these Aussies have made all the right choices. It's affordable, it's summerish, it's made of titanium and it's 600 meters water resistant. And last but not least we have Ulysse Nardin. Making watches uninterrupted since 1846 in the Locle, Ulysse Nardin is deeply embedded in the cradle of Swiss watchmaking. For their 175th anniversary they created a collection including this marine torpilleur with a magnificent blue enamel grand feu dial with manufactured movement for a lovely price of 10k. And quite amazingly you can get this annual calendar chrono for only 600 euros more. To wrap it all up my final conclusion is it's fantastic to see the watch world buzzing again. Thank you very much for watching and please don't forget to like and subscribe.